Zire. Mutatis muta and dis, it is the same for the rupa and arupyabhava. That is what is understood by existence. The arhats have broken the fetters of this existence. These fetters are nine in number. Attraction, aversion, pride, ignorance, doubt, wrong view, unjustified esteem, avarice, and envy. These seojanas encompass all of existence and this existence encompasses all the seojanas. Hence the expression Pariksinabhavaseyahana. Question. The fetters have indeed been broken in the arhats for they have eliminated all. The afflictions, but their existence cannot be cut. Be indeed as long as they are not nirvanized, they are still furnished with the five aggregates, the twelve bases of consciousness and the eighteen elements of existence. Answer. This is not a difficulty, for by mentioning the result the suppression of existence here, we mean to speak of the cause the suppression of the fetters. Although the Buddha said. By giving food, the generous patron gives five things. Life, color, strength, pleasure, and intelligence, food does not necessarily give these five things. There are well-nourished people who die, others who are insufficiently nourished. Who nevertheless live. Usually food is the cause of the five benefits given, this is why the Buddha said that by giving food, five things are given. A stanza says. By withdrawing all food, death is certain. But even if one eats, death is always possible. This is why the Buddha has said. By giving food, five things are given. Thus also a man can eat five pounds of gold. Although gold is not edible, by means of its power of purchase, it is the cause of food. This is why one says eating gold. The Buddha also said that women are defilers of morality. Actually, women are not the defilers of morality, rather, they are the cause of defiling of morality and this is why it is said that they are the defilers of morality. If a man falls from on high, even before he has reached the ground, it is said that he is dead. Although he may not be dead at the moment when he falls, we know that he will die, that is why it is said that he is dead. In the same way when the arhats have broken their fetters, we know that their existence also will necessarily be broken. That is why it is said that they have completely broken the fetters of existence. 11. Samayagajanajavimita Sutra They were completely delivered by means of complete knowledge. Sastra. Compare the Brahmacharan Mokyanti. His disciples were carrying his corpse on a litter through the city. While they were walking through the crowd, they proclaimed. Those who see the body of Makandika with their eyes will all obtain the path of purity, all the more so those who will venerate and honor it. Many people believed their words. Having heard of this, the Bhiksus addressed the Buddha. Bhagavath. What is this about? The Buddha replied with these stanzas. To seek for purity in the contemplation of an abject individual is neither knowledge nor the true path. When the fetters and afflictions fill the mind. How could one find the pure path in one single glance? If one glance suffice to attain the path. Of what use would wisdom and the treasury of the qualities be? It is wisdom and the qualities that lead to purity. To seek for purity by one glance is not reasonable. This is why it is said that the arhats are completely liberated by perfect knowledge. Why the arhats surround the Buddha? Question. The arhats who have done what is needed to be done should have no need to look for company. Why then are they always near the Buddha and not elsewhere, so that they save beings? Answer. 1. If all beings of the ten directions without exception should honor the Buddha, the Arhats, from gratitude for the benefits they have received, should see honor him doubly. How is that? These Arhats have received immense qualities from the Buddha. Knowledge, destruction of the fetters, increase in the mind of faith. This is why these very virtuous Arhats stay close to the Buddha, to taste the blissful taste of the qualities, to venerate him, serve him, and recognize his benefits. Because they surround the Buddha, their Buddha qualities increase. 
the Brahmakaya Kadava surround Brahma Devaraja. The Trayastri Sadava surround Sakra Devendra. The Asuras surround their god Vaisramana. The minor kings surround the noble Kakravartan king. The sick and the convalescents surround the great physician, in the same way, the Arhats keep close to the Buddha and, because they surround him and venerate him, their Buddha qualities increase. Question. The Arhats who have done what needed to be done and assured their personal interest have no need to listen to the Dharma. Then why is the Buddha accompanied by 5,000 Arhats when he preaches the Prajnaparamitha? Answer. Although the Arhats have done what needed to be done, the Buddha wants to put them to the proof with the doctrine of profound wisdom. Thus, the Buddha said to Saraputra, In the Polo Yen King, Parayana, in the question of a Kito, a Jitapanhi, it is said, There are all kinds of aspirants, and people who have experienced the truth, the doctrine practiced by these people. I would like that you to tell it to me precisely. First, what is an aspirant and what is a person who has experienced the truth? But Saraputra remained silent. Three times the Buddha asked him the same question, three times Saraputra remained silent. Then, to prompt him to the right answer, the Buddha said to Saraputra, That which arises. Saraputra continued, Bhagavath, that which arises. That which arises must also perish. He who practices the teaching of the arising and the destruction of the conditioned is called Saiksa. But the one who has found the teaching of the non-production of things by means of wisdom is called Sakyatadharma. This sutra has been cited at length here. 2. Furthermore, the Arhats stay close to the Buddha and listen to his doctrine because those who have not yet attained the impure or pure dhyanas wish to attain them. And those who have already attained them wish to deepen them. 3. Furthermore, the Arhats surround the Buddha to enjoy the bliss of his presence. Thus, in the Nantiyokya King, Nandaka Sutra, it is said, Just now I am listening to the Dharma. 4. Furthermore, the Arhats who stay close to the Buddha can never get their fill of listening to the Dharma. Thus in the P.I. Luti Kia King, Pilata Kajitra, Saraputra says A to Pilotika. In my Dharma, one never gets enough of listening to the doctrine. 5. Furthermore, if the Buddha, the great teacher himself listens attentively to the Dharma preached by his disciples, it is not necessary to ask why the Arhats, quite perfect though they may be, in turn listen to the Dharma preached by the Buddha. If a satiated person starts to eat again when he finds exquisite food, how could a famished man not eat it? This is why the Arhats, although they have done what needed to be done, always stay close to the Buddha to hear the Dharma. 6. Finally, the Buddha as well as the Arhats dwell in the state of deliverance. Endowed with these dharmas of dwelling, they are surrounded and mutually adorned. Thus it is said in the Chintian Piyu King, Kandanapame Sutra. When there is a forest of Kandana, the Urandas surround it, when there is a forest of Urandas, the Kandanas surround it. If there are Kandanas, the Kandanas are considered to be the forest, if there are Urandas, they serve as the entourage. It is the same for the Buddha and the Arhats. The Buddha abides in the good dharmas and in deliverance and so do the Arhats. Endowed with the dharmas of abiding, they surround and adorn one another mutually. The Buddha surrounds the great assembly like Sumeru. King of the mountains, is surrounded by ten precious mountains, like the white king of the elephants in Rut is surrounded by white elephants in Rut, like the king of the lions is surrounded by lions. In the same way the Buddha, a field of merit, is surrounded and accompanied by his disciples. Why Ananda is not an Arhat? Sutra Except for Ananda who, being on the level of the Sikhs, was just a stream enterer. Sastra Question Why does it say except for Ananda? Answer 
because Ananda is not among the Arhats whom we have just praised above. Why? He is of the rank of Saiksa and has not yet eliminated desire. Question. The Venerable Ananda is the third patriarch. Head of the Great Assembly, for numberless Kalpas he planted the seeds of Nirvana, he always stays near the Buddha, he is the keeper of the baskets of the Dharma. How is it that this Venerable One, who ha with sharp faculties, has been able to come so far without having eliminated desire and is not yet a Saiksa? Answer. 1. The Venerable Ananda, from the beginning, had made the following vow. I wish to be the foremost of those who have heard much on the other hand, because of their Buddha Dharmas, the Arhats who have done what needed to be done can. 